What is going on guys, it's Stay Hunters with another collect- with another collectible guide, what am I talking about? With a collectible guide, this is the stunt jumps in Grand Theft Auto 4 and basically I'm going to show you all 50 of these as it gets you the 100% completion rate. Basically you have to just drive in a car that would be suitable to the task and um, basically just successfully perform the jump. I'm just showing you every single time where it is on the map and then just showing you where from start to finish you begin. Had a little bit of a bump there. Couldn't remember that at all but oh well. Drive over and basically you just need to land here successfully. Don't like crash your car or anything. I don't speed it up here because I thought like slow motion had to be part of it at the start. Rookie mistake. But I do speed them up later on and it gets conveniently easy. Number 2 out of 50. Yes guys, uh, this will be a uh, part 70 as well of my Let's Play. Um, but I'll, I'll name it as like Grand Theft Auto 4 um, Stunt Jump Skide or something like that. Um, but it is part 70, I'll put it in the playlist and everything. This one's kinda awkward because there's a few stunt jumps in this area so the first one's right there just land on this like platform here, don't drive over. I did this a couple times like that. But because I landed first, I got the thing. And basically I was annoyed here because I had to get another car. I was like, oh, like that. But the second one is basically there, you have to like land from the first one. Uh, block out that music, don't know why that's playing, but yeah, just drive from the edge of it, drive here, and I'm in a taxi so it shows you that it can be done with a slow car, just drive, and then all you need to do is land on the actual mainland, there you go, stunt jump completed, crash the car again, oh well, 5 out of 50, and broker, first one in broker, that's all the bohan ones done, there's only 5 of them, or four actually, four, sorry. Right, so drive across this. You've got like a little hill here. All you need to do is just land well. There is a few stunt jumps that are like really difficult because the landing is very awkward. I'll, I'll if I can remember the one I'm thinking of, uh, I'll point it out. That one's quite easy though. Just need to have like a good speed. But yeah, basically, Grand Theft Auto 4 is done. There are seven videos left, including this one, and you will see them before GTA 5 comes out. I will, I said I would do that, and I'm still going to do it. With 6 out of 50 here, I actually landed in the water, but it shows that if you land in the water it doesn't matter. Or at least in my case, it might matter for you, just try and get on land if you can, but... Um, it obviously can be done water if I did it there. This one's quite an awkward one to like point out just in general, but all you need to do is just drive over this thing. It's not even a successful landing you need. Just a kind of drive over the ramp sort of thing. Sun jump completed, 7 out of 50. Simple as that. Right, 8 out of 50, it's like near the bridge to this one of the tiny islands. Again, kind of awkward to spot if you're playing the game, but see how that slow that like drive up there was. This one doesn't require like a an amazing like speed. It just requires a landing where you get on four wheels. I crashed there as well. That was actually the worst stunt jump I think I've done. Um. Nine out of fifty. This one you need a really good uh, speed. Uh, with this one because I tried it and it was basically like, lol no, with it, oh, damn it, <laughs> dropped my earphones there, rookie mistake, crashed there somehow, didn't screw me over, but I got across the distance far enough, I think that one's more about the distance you get, but yeah, there's like three categories you have, speed, distance and successful landing, this one's really weird, I didn't even recognise that was a stunt jump at all. But yeah, successful landing I think for that one. Because speed and distance weren't required there. Yeah, the police started to chase me. 11 and 12, 
This one you can't do separately, I had to put this together. So Levin will say stunt jump completed again, but uh, again obviously means I still did it successfully, so just keep driving, have a good run up in that hill and then continue driving for the 12th one. And basically land successfully. That's why I put these two together. Save time with capture as well. Again, easy landing that wasn't required there, but speed I think was required for that one. This one's really awkward because of this like weird sun jump. It's in between the two roads and the main bridge in the game. And basically your bike will always do that. You have to do this one in a bike. Uh, so you basically need to like, with the thumbstick, like try your hardest possible to land on two wheels. If you land on unsuccessfully then you won't get this one. All about a successful landing I think. 14 out of 50, it's near this little car wash. Similar to where one of the uh, vehicles is for Brucey, I think. Yes it is. You'll have this ramp here and basically this wants you to go over the uh, motorway as far as you can. Again, I used a bike here. I don't know if you can use a car. You might be able to, but bike would be preferred because that was a smaller type of ramp. Uh, went over the motorway slash highway and landed successfully. This one's in like a weird iron grid pattern here. My car is badly damaged, but this one shows that it can be easily done. This one's quite awkward. You have to land like in between that uh, bridge place, and even then, I think you need to be really quite far. Let's see here. Don't crash, don't crash. Kind of crash there, but yeah, it would be preferred if you could get over that. That was kind of lucky there for me, I, th I would assume. This one's quite awkward. You need such a good run up. This was the one I was talking about. No, actually, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's the next one I was talking about. This one's quite easy. Just go over that, like, airport sign and just land. There you go. Um, This one, I think. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking about. This one's really awkward. Um. Basically, you need a really, really good uh, distance. I use a Jeep here, like an SUV vehicle. Shout out to Cam McTee, the demigod. And basically, yeah, you need to like move as far as possible. Not on the road. You can't land on the road, I don't think. Let's see. No. Oh, wait, no. Wait. That was weird. You have to, that one's one you need to keep doing, unless you're really lucky. Uh, but that's all of Broker 1 stuns. The majority now begins with Algonquin motorbike. This one requires as well a good landing. Speed it up. Basically, that one was quite lucky, but you need to get further than that. I would, if you want to um, get it like easily. Uh, this one is. Uh, this one isn't too awkward. Again, very unnoticeable because that does not look like a stunt jump at all. All you need is a good landing. I used the motorbike for that because it was much easier and much more convenient. Number 20. Two fifths of the way there, 40%. Then math skills. Right, another good run up. Have the same motorbike as last part and basically I think this one requires distance. Because I get into the tunnel and it's done. 21 out of 50, near the XXX sign, the flats, or the apartment buildings. This one is very weird because you see like a kind of destroyed apartment. This one you need to basically uh, get a good distance and I just made it there, crashed into the water but I landed on land. If you land in water I don't think it will count. Actually I know it will not count if you land in water like straight from your jump. This one quite easy, just needs a good landing. Twenty-three out of fifty. 
This one is like the one uh, with the motorbike in between two roads, but you need a car for this one. Just have a good run up with a fast car. This one requires a fast car, so I use this. Banshee here. I think it's a Banshee. I can't remember my cars. <laughs> wow. Fail. Right, this one requires a long, long build up. Basically, what I showed you, you start from there. Drive up these stairs and then you'll have like this like abandoned train line across the buildings, quite cool. Just basically drive across them, use a fast car for this one I would recommend. Good handling, just drive, keep driving and then you will see the ramp right there. I stop just to show you in the map where exactly you start from here. Reverse just to um, get a better speed. Because I wasn't sure, so, and I didn't want to do this again. Shout out to my friend, KLC13. Basically, near the spray can, quite cool. Got the moon in the background. Ugh, good land. There you go. 24 out of 50, done. Right, this one's really awkward where I showed you there. This one is a pain, it's ridiculous. But yeah, 25 out of 50, you'll get a 4 star warranty for being in the police station. You'll see a ramp to the left, but that is a red herring, that is not the one you need to do. That is just a random one. But yeah, use a fast car to get over these stairs. Uh, nearly ran over there, that would have been ridiculous. This took me 3 or 4 attempts, but basically, yeah, uh, we'll just drive over here. Getting shot at, police use a ridiculous screw. Screw you! This guy nearly got me, I was like, nope. Uh, basically, you need to take the left here because the right will not... Like, it's a road to nowhere, or a path to nowhere. Um, just keep driving here. This one, just don't overshoot it, just calmly drive over. Like I do here. If you overshoot it, then it'll be ridiculous. I, I'll, I'll undershot it there, if that's a term. Building helped me there. Again, just undershoot it, don't do anything crazy, and basically, yeah, you'll have this ramp and drive as fast as you possibly can, and then I speed it up just to get, see my distance, and yeah, 25 out of 50, and then it leads to the one I was telling you about, I just crash in the water for the lulls, for the lulls. But yeah, the first half is done. This one is one of the three Liberty, uh, three stunt jumps in Liberty City that requires a boat. I showed you in the map where to get it. It's kind of difficult to spawn a boat, but just like swim in the water if you can't find a location where a boat is. Just swim in the water, you'll get a boat eventually. I had to do that because I, I didn't know any boat locations. This one is in the middle of Star Junction and... Again, a motorbike gets better used for this one, because a car, you would need to be really skillful to get it through there. And basically that's all it requires. Just a good, a good jump up. Right, this one's near the comedy club. Near Star Junction again. This one's to the side though. Again, I use the same motorbike and it's one of those things that will be difficult to get a car through. Just get distance and you are done. 29 out of 50. This one isn't too difficult, all it needs is just a little bit. Just speed it up, and then just get to the end of the wall. I crashed into it and still got it. I think it just wants you to get to that wall. Right, the second of the boat and stunt jumps. That's where I started from and where I ended off is where the actual jump is itself. Because obviously blo boats are much slower. Shout out to KLC13 again. You suck. Basically just drive. These don't require a lot of speed, they just need a good build up. And I think I save... No, I don't. I don't know if it is two or three, I think it might... I think it might be two now. I thought the third one was right after the second. Right, this one requires a good build up, because you need to get across this tunnel completely. So use a fast car and land. Nearly crashed into the police. Screw the law! Right, this one is near a clothing store. And that's where it wants you to end. 
So basically, it's like in this like side of a building and just get a good build up, good speed and you land the other side of the road to crash into the bus. That is absolutely necessary. <laughs> no, it isn't. Calm down. But that is the last of Algonquin. Guess you only need two um, boat and stunt jumps, not three. Right, so 33 out of 50. Nathan RFC 199. You suck as well, my friend. This one requires to land in that road, I guess. Right, 34 out of 50. This one is weird because it's so difficult to drive on this like, this like beach kind of area. Basically just, that is the stunt jump, it's that little tiny hill. I w you wouldn't even consider that hill, it would just be a little bump. 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 Right, this one's near like that weird like, uh, road kind of area you saw there. Use a more bike for this one to get more speed that hill and basically you need to get really far with this one. That one you'll need to actually try a few times. Right, the police started chasing me here, I can't remember why. And basically, this is like it's the top of a car park complex. Basically drive there just to get a better speed and use the motorbike, get to the top and basically cross. I think this one wants you just to land successfully. But yeah, the police were chasing me because the bike shop's near here and I basically stole it. So if you want a bike, the bike shop is near this area in Alderney. You'll find it. If you can find the car park, you'll find um, the bike store. It's not even a store, you can't buy anything, but you can steal bikes, which is good. <laughs> At least that was there. Right, this one. Another hill. The Alderney ones are kind of difficult, but they don't have those unique ones that Broker does. Yeah, basically my body went flying. There out of 50, it's nearly done. This one, one of those like little tiny sun jumps again. Use a bike for it. Heavy Weapon X. Japanese letters, hot dog man, land. You are done. Not yet. You've given them everything. Not everything. There's 11 more to go. Another hill, another bike. Well, same bike, but this one just land. I was like, Ugh. the rain looks like snow there. That was weird, but it's rain. Damn it, people. There is no snow in GTA 4. I don't know if there's snow in GTA 5, hopefully. Land successfully and just turn there so you don't need to crash. Right bumper for Xbox 360 and right... Eh, uh, not right, not right trigger. R2, I'm gonna guess, for PlayStation 3. This one is very difficult. You need a massive build-up. And basically, you need to get over the water. That's what this requires. So your bike will obviously flip. You, I don't think you can do this with a car either. I, I would, I would recommend a bike definitely. Really hectic here. Can't speak. But yeah, land any way possible successfully, and you'll have done it. That took me three or four goes. How do you think I felt? <laughs> right, this one's in the similar area where you did that one, but this is underneath. You have to go under the tunnel, underneath that stunt jump, and. You'll have this tiny, tiny ramp. Basically, just land again. I did a three. Did I do a three? No, I didn't. I did like a 90 and then back 90. Because I'm awesome. And it's what I do. Land. Don't know why I didn't just fast forward this. Uh, helicopter. I couldn't see it. Oh, yeah, I crashed in the water. Huh. I guess what I said earlier about crashing water doesn't affect it. That one just contradicted what I said. Oh well. This one's quite difficult uh, because you need to get far with this one, but it's kind of awkward on this like dirt road to actually get the speed build up. So I just fast forward it. And I somehow got it. And I died again. Nico, you'll respawn, it's fine. This 
this one is near some like garages and again one of those like I don't, I don't even know how to describe them those like ramps that are in a container I guess 44 out of 50 it's nearly done that one didn't require a massive build up of course of course of course it did, my friends. Right here. That's terrible. <laughs> well, this one requires a massive build up, and yes, the stairs is the ramp. Again, one of those like discreet ramps you would never get. Unless you were a massive GTA like addict. Which I sort of am, but sort of not. And I died again. I don't know how I died there, I was face spamming it myself when I did. Right, there's two difficult ones left in Alderney. This is not one of them, but this one requires a massive build up. It's like this kind of refinery and industrial kind of looking area. The ramp, basically, just land. Get a good distance and land. There you go. Now I crashed again. This one's quite difficult because you need to get like a downward um, spilled up and then you need to cross this water again. And then obviously your bike will flip with this one really difficult to get it like to stationary I guess and we how did we do we crashed again but it's fine and we died again and it's fine 48 this one can easily be done in any kind of car but yeah it's another kind of uh, dirt road build up with um, train tracks and yeah that's all that one was very pathetic I have no idea why it was so easy maybe because these two aren't so easy both in the motorway opposite sides of each other use a motorbike because a car will not do it and basically just land don't crash so I was like in slow motion, dudes. Xbox Scully sucks. And yeah, there was one left. Only one. Because it's what I do. This one requires a massive build up because the way you need to land here is very awkward. This one can use a car. Got the fastest car in the game, in my opinion. If you're looking to find this, it's like hidden at the top of Alderney. In like the abandoned uh, house that you are you do a mission for Phil in, where you get chased by the police because you have drugs. It's behind there. And basically, just land. But not in the rooftop or on the pipe. You have to land in that little square bit there. And basically, Bob is indeed your uncle. And I got Daredevil and I got the 100% completion as well because this was the last thing I needed to do. But obviously I'm going to show you this before I show you the endings. But guys, I will see you next time for some more GTA 4. Thank you guys for watching.